Morning guys, welcome back. That's the old power station, 1918 that was built. I'm gonna take you on a walk this morning. We're in a little town called Gundawindi, Southeast Queensland, Australia. Saturday morning. It's a beautiful spring morning, approximately 7.30 in the morning. A few people out running. I've already got coffee. Got myself a little Merlot from around the corner. I'm gonna take you on a little walk around this town. Haven't really done a video like this before. I got inspired by city walks. He walks around little towns in America and I thought, you know what, this is a beautiful little town. I want to show some people. Been staying in this town on and off for the last couple of weeks, doing some work. Beautiful. That could be the thumbnail. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's about 21.6 degrees Celsius. Got a little bit of wind blowing, about 9.3 kilometers an hour. I'm just going for a walk around. We've got some old buildings here. Westpac Bank. Nice, beautiful building. Show you this little plaque here. I've got to remember all these little things people might want to see. 1877 to 1977. I'll take you down this side of town, which is heading out towards the border. So the border's been where I've been working for the last couple of weeks. I'll run a couple of clips of the border. Oh, we're just walking down this little bit. Just wanted to show you a couple of little places down here. A lot of these shops are shut on the weekend, unfortunately, but it is what it is. It's Saturday morning. The flies can be a bit of a pain here. I don't know if you can hear them buzzing around. It's, even though it's only early, they, they get you. I'm gonna walk down and show you the old Queenslander hotel. Then we're gonna cross over and walk back on the opposite side, back into the main part of town. This video could be done in about 20 minutes. This town is very small, but lovely. When we return back, I'll show you the hotel I've been staying. This one here, I frequent every now and then, the Pioneer Motel, Gundawindi. A few of the other guys are staying in there. So I'm hoping this video is reasonably stable. I've got it on a little shorty GoPro holder. I'm shooting on the GoPro Hero 9. Hopefully it's um, coming out smooth. If not, well, we're going to have to film it another way. So I'm noticing it's rocking a little bit, but that's all right. Hopefully it sorts itself out. I'm back on the standard lens. I was shooting a couple of videos on the, um, the Max Mod lens. It cost $150. I had to wait six weeks to get it. And then when I shot I've shot two videos with it. It's overheated both times. So that's the uh, Queensland Motel. Frequent drinking hole of many people. And that's probably the, the limit of town. What we'll do is we'll just go back this way. Just cross over down here.
back past the pond near my hotel. I'm gonna go down here. Another motel over there. A lot of motels. Little towns have lots of motels. Cute little motels here. Yep. Still sipping my cappuccino. I'm going to cross the road here. Give you a glimpse of the town. It's a beautiful little town. walk down here a little bit I'm thinking about swapping hands actually but I I don't want to muck it up we'll just see how we go now we're walking with the sun out our back there are the water towers that's where we started we we'll go for a little walk good day to get out and do some gardening got some flowers there some plants nice Yeah, beautiful morning. <coughs> Had a bit of rain here the past couple of weeks. It's um it's harvest season at the moment. It's um, harvest season at the moment. There's a lot of wheat and grain being harvested. And um, it doesn't like the rain. So, when the rain comes, harvesting stops. Um, poured down rain yesterday for the large majority of the day. I think we got about 35 millimetres, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is in this town in one day. I don't know what the average rainfall is for this town, but yeah, that's pretty big. I'm gonna swap over here. I'm just gonna put my coffee down and swap hands. Fortunate smell just there, there's a dead bird right there. That is gross. That's another motel I frequented, the Gunsed Motel. Little one. Coming up to the favourite part of this town, there's little signs here. Definitely got to show you these signs. So I'll show you this one, we'll just walk on this little island. So we got, got the little sign there. So you got Adelaide, Melbourne, Canberra, all on the left hand side, Cooktown, Cairns, Brisbane on the right, that's where I'm from. So we'll just go down here. A lot of friendly locals in town. They're friendly until you're asking them why they're coming into Queensland from New South Wales, but hey, that's part of our job. Here's this other one. So you got Darwin, Mount Isa. Birdsville. So all those numbers are in kilometres, if you're wondering. So if you want to work out the miles, you just, I don't know, times it by whatever miles into kilometres is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I was going to be smart there and tell you. So there you go. Cool. Old post office. Clock tower. That chimes on every hour. Maybe if we're lucky when we're coming back, it'll be near eight o'clock and we'll hear it chime. At the moment, the humidity is about 86%, which is quite nice. Let's go into this shade for two seconds. I want to show you over here where I got my coffee from. It's over on the right hand side. The Lada, Gundawindi Lada, Merlo. So we're just going to go for a walk down here. Our bookshop. Like I said, a lot of these shops are shut on the weekend. It's unfortunate, but it's the only time we can um, 
get the time out to shoot a video. Barber shop shut. Hope you guys are enjoying this video of this little town. Here's a little cinema. That's shut today as well. Probably opens later. Coffee shops are starting to open. All these old heritage listed buildings with shops in them. Another bank, Commonwealth Bank. Yep. A jewelry shop there. It's a nice little town. It's literally just this one street of town and then a few streets that go off to the left and the right for like one or two blocks, but that's about it. A little news agency here. Nine weeks till Christmas. Alan's Pharmacy shut this morning. Hopefully that opens later. And over on the right, we got Victoria Hotel. I've not been in there, but it's a beautiful building. Next to it's the Coles and the BWS, and I've been in there. BWS is our bottle shop here. Which is funny. So Coles is a um, shopping center. You buy groceries and stuff, and BWS is owned by its rival, Woolworths. So they've both got a pie finger in there in the pie super cheap auto over there that's where you buy bits and pieces for your car cheap bits and pieces down on this side of town you got food works another little bank heritage mini bank oh, there's another little bottle shop there I've not noticed that one before So yeah, if you like these videos, um, don't forget to click the like button. If you haven't already subscribed, um, if you really want to help me out, you can click the link in my description and shout me a copy. Means I can buy a coffee like this one for $4.50 and drink it while I'm uh, walking and talking. Here, we're going to walk down this side and we're going to cross over. We're going to go look at the park, check out the park down there. We've got a nice little Anzac memorial. A lot of soldiers, World War One, World War Two, came from Gundawindi and small towns like this around Australia. If you've seen any movies, Anzac related, Gallipoli related movies, a lot of a lot of military men were from small farms and small areas of rural towns of Australia and got conscripted or volunteered. So hence a lot of young a lot of young diggers from uh, small towns killed in World War One, World War Two. There's Red Rooster. Red Rooster's a good little place to get chicken. Fried chicken. There's a uh, fruit and veg shop. We don't mind our fried chicken here. It's not like KFC, but it's similar. A few locals. Most of them are friendly here, small little town. Some are not. Little sports shop over there. Nice little sports shop. Bought some stuff from there the other week. 
and that's pretty much the limit of it. Now there is a really nice walking track on the other side of Gundawindi and I'm thinking later in the week or next time I'm out here I might shoot a video on the walking track. So stay tuned, that might be the next video. I'll be wanting to shoot this one a while, I just haven't had time being so busy. So there's uh, Freedom Fuels, just a, I don't know, it's just a generalized cheap um, fuel station. So to give you an idea, E10 fuel, $1.61.9, that's per litre, so you guys can work out the gallon rate. Unleaded 91, that's probably the cheapest you can get, but it's $1.63.9. And your diesel here is $1.65.9 per litre. So what you've got to do is work out how much $1.65 is in your money and then work out how much a litre is in your gallon or whatever and then work out how expensive it is. So down the end of this street is Gundawindi Hospital. Not a big hospital, but I guess um, a lot of oldies here, so... And that's basically the limit of town. So we're going to head over there to have a look at that cenotaph. We'll go for a wander. I might just go to this corner. I don't want to walk straight across because even in a small town like this, you could probably get run over. I do hope this video is working out. That's the time of these videos, I just wing it. There's uh, where we've been, downtown Gundawindi. What I did forget to do, I forgot to uh, push record on my uh, watch to time my walk. You guys could have looked it up on the map. That's all right. If I remember, I'll do a walk later in the week and I'll put it on here. Do the same walk. All right, that's the uh, World War II cenotaph. The names of all the people who went away to war, didn't come back. Some beautiful trees. A lot of the times these trees in a lot of these little towns were planted around the time of, you know, when these plaques were put in, which it would have been in the 40s, 50s, even earlier. This beautiful... nice isn't it I like coming down here when I'm in a little town like this and just having a look at all the names so total enlistments for Australia was 416,000 men and women Hopefully you can see that. So out of those, total deaths was 60,278. So that's a lot. Yeah, so a beautiful park. So this is probably the limit. You can keep walk you can keep going down there, it's just all houses and stuff. And what I'll do on my walk later in the week, I'll show you different houses and that. If I get a chance, I'll walk some of the back streets. Today, I just wanted to get a feel for the town so you can see what the town's like. So when we came out of our motel and we, we pointed down a back street where that forklift was, that's that little back street there, goes right through. That's how you get into Red Rooster's drive-through. Took me a while to work that out. I was at Red Rooster thinking there's people coming out of a drive through, how are they getting in? And then you just gotta go around the corner. So hopefully this video is stable. If not, I mean it's a point of view video and it's you know it is what it is.
point of view. Dodge Ram down there. You see a few of those. That's the thing with a country town. You get to see what vehicles are pretty popular. Toyota Land Cruisers are really popular here. Um, although very expensive, they can still be up to $100,000 for a Land Cruiser. Dodge Rams here, those ones are $120-something thousand dollars. So, wherever you guys are from, I mean, Dodge Ram might not be that expensive, but here, yeah, most people aren't going to be able to afford one. So we've got Gundy Clothing here, which is part of a sports store that's also shut today. Few little things it's not really the town where you get fancy stuff there's not an apple store here but there's even red rooster shut this morning no it is only early it's only it's 10 to 8 so we should be able to hear the clock tower time in about clock tower chime in about 10 minutes that'd be nice I reckon we'll be down near it in about 10 minutes. We'll be able to stand there and wait for it. Be a fitting end to the video. Let me know in the comments if you like this style of video, because I can probably do some more. It just happens that I'm in this town for a couple of weeks and thought it'd be fitting to shoot one. Like I said, if you guys want to click that first link and support the channel, it means I could stay in hotels and motels and shoot other videos very similar. Doing a bit of vacuuming there, cleaning up the store, probably going to open. That's the thing, later on some of these shops might open, might get a bit busier. This is going past the, um, the pub that we were looking at from across the street before. The Victoria Hotel. Not open yet, obviously. Uh, Queensland law, pubs can't open before 10 a.m. Can't serve alcohol. You can't buy alcohol before 10 a.m. It's pretty much an unspoken law that you can't drink alcohol before 10 a.m. but. The funny thing is, it's 10 a.m. somewhere in the world, isn't it? So you should be able to drink at any time you want. So that's where it's super cheap. So we're on this side now, walking back. Back, back past, we're gonna go back past the most popular coffee shop in Gundawindi, where I got my coffee from. Heading down towards the clock tower. To Finish up in about seven minutes. Got to hang around for those chimes. It's going to be worth it for sure. Another little coffee shop I don't mind, it's Campo's Coffee. That's an Australian, an Australian guy. So just down there, a little laneway down there, a little coffee shop on the left hand side, that's not too bad. Old Mr. Campo. No, I don't think that's his name, but I think he just sold it off too. I don't know. Make your money and get out, they say. There's Commonwealth Bank over there again. Lots of little coffee shops here. Cute little town. Six minutes till the clock tower. I've got down here in four minutes. We're just gonna wander around and find a little spot to sort of 
get it in view to finish up. I'll just be going past this little chuckles. We're going to go sit down here in the shade down here, finish our coffee and and have a little chat. Nice. Look at this thing. Nice, hey? Hope you guys like the video. I can do more of those videos if you want. Yeah, Gundawindi, nice little town. Been here a couple of weeks. I'm probably going to be here till just before Christmas. Yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you guys have been watching all the way to the end, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.